Welcome to the Mighty Scales Model Channel. On the YouTube network, I am Chad, and today we are gonna start a long two-year process. Today we are gonna start the Build Your Own X-Wing Kit from Diagostini Model Space USA. Now I like the X-Wing. I like you beer, that. I like beer. I don't know if you do, okay. do you like beer, Senator, or not. Um, what do you like to drink? Next one. I love the X-Wing Starfighter, it is my favorite spacecraft in all of sci-fi this model is bigger than studio scale i mean this thing is like this big this model is going to be sometimes, sometimes they, they say, say huge not a bad one huge that's huge. huge that's really good draw it out ben. Huge. huge here's one of the wings it's that big where am i going to put the thing when it's done i don't know i have two years to think about that if you're new here, please consider subscribing because along with this X-Wing build, there's gonna be a lot of other scale model stuff going on on the channel. We're gonna be doing airbrushing, painting, building. We're gonna be doing all that cool model stuff. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Mighty Scale Models right down there in the bottom corner of the screen. And if you're into RC stuff as well, you can also check out my RC channel dorky and 40 and there is a link to that in the description below if you like what i'm doing on these channels please consider using something below with an amazon affiliate link or you can always donate a buck or two to the channel with the paypal.me link as well so let's hit that b-roll and let's go So every month of our subscription, we are gonna get four magazines and four packs of parts to go ahead and assemble our X-Wing. Each magazine just kinda of has some fluff inside that will kinda of talk about the Star Wars universe and stuff like that. Pretty cool if you're a geek like myself and all that kind of stuff. But then at the end, it's got some assembly instructions here, so that way we can figure out what we're gonna do. So with the first issue here and with this pack of parts right here, we are going to assemble the cockpit and we are going to assemble a laser cannon and we are gonna start on R2-D2 himself. So a lot of people have already done videos on these first couple issues, so I'm just gonna slap this stuff together and I'll show you what it looks like when we are done. Pro tip, there was a few things that I ran into that you might wanna take a look at in this video and do before you start putting your model together. I am going to show them here at the beginning. They are modifications to R2-D2 and to the fiber optic wire as far as light blocking them so we get no light leaks that come through when we put all the parts together from the light shining through the plastic. So keep an eye out for those. So before you build R2-D2, I would definitely recommend that you do some light blocking. There's gonna be light coming through from that LED. The plastic's pretty thin. What you're gonna to wanna to use is some kind of black paint or something. I use this fabric paint called Tulip Slick. This is very popular that we use here in the model community whenever we're lighting models and such. And you're just gonna to wanna to brush it on. You kinda of dab it in real thick. It takes a little bit of time to dry. Uh, one coat usually. R2's dome is a little tricky, so you really gotta be careful. If you end up getting some paint on some stuff, just go ahead and take a cotton swab and wipe that off and then possibly wait until he is completely dry, do a light test, and then you can always come back with a razor blade and scrape off some of that extra paint. Real quick, we have our fiber optic wire here, which I have airbrushes and paint and all that kind of stuff. You might not, but what I decided to do with my fiber optic wire was just to go ahead and paint the wire, and you can see I have light coming out of the end but we have no light coming anywhere else out of the fiber. So take a look at this before you put it in your model. Test both ends, everything like that. Make sure everything is lighting up and we're getting good light transfer and such, and then you should be good to go. 
So here's a good shot of R2-D2's dome after we've done the light blocking and all we have is just lights coming out. We don't have any don't have any kind of light leak at all that I can see anywhere on the dome. So good stuff. So at the end of issue one, we are left with a couple piles of parts, one canopy, and it's time to get on to issue number two. In issue number two, we've got a ton of parts. We've got the bottom to our canopy, a bunch of laser pieces, some parts of R2-D2. So let's go ahead and let's get all this stuff together. We've got issue two laid out here. First thing to notice is this all metal canopy here that the bottom base this thing is going to be heavy we're gonna put that to the side here and we're gonna grab all the parts to R2D2's leg so we got two sides here we've got a little center piece here we've got another little center piece and then we've got a foot so let's go ahead and follow these instructions and get that put together as you might have noticed, I have all my parts for the cannon still kind of disassembled because I know there's going to be some light leakage in here, and I think there's going to be some places where we're going to have to apply some dark paint so when we light this LED up, we don't get light shining through all the stuff. We're going to have to take a look at that when we get to the battery pack and test this out in the next issue. Things are really starting to get serious now in issue three because we now have a screwdriver and we have a pack of screws here. This is what we're gonna be using to start screwing these metal pieces on to the actual canopy to make this thing start turning into a starfighter. There's also some pieces of R2-D2 and some more laser cannon pieces. So we do want to grab some of the pieces that we got in our earlier issues. This is going to be his right leg and we need this LED assembly right here. That's going to go on there and the bottom of this LED, there's some contacts. So when R2 sits down into the actual X-Wing, he'll be able to light up and do all that kind of cool stuff. There's very specific instructions on how you're supposed to install that as well. So make sure that you are paying attention to your magazine and the pictures. So the fitness assembly should look like that. Now we're gonna put the other half on there and just make sure that you don't pinch the wires and get everything closed up really nice. So now we're working on the cockpit here and I've seen this kind of confuse a few people. Be careful not to lose any of your screws. Now the way that you have three different sets of these standoffs and the large set goes in the back the smallest set goes in the middle, and then in the front goes the medium set. So large, small, medium. The other thing you wanna make sure that you do is you don't lose that screw. And also, these are labeled left and right, and this is facing away from you, so this is right and left. You will fill the screws tighten up nice, so there's no need to over torque them. And that's it, cockpit done. Don't forget to put your screw away. Don't wanna lose your screws. Now, once again, I am gonna hold off on building this laser cannon out. So we're just gonna push those parts back there to the rest. So now we're finally on to issue number four. And in issue number four, we've got more pieces of R2-D2, more pieces of the cockpit base. And we also have some fiber optic lighting and a battery test box here. So that way we can test out all of our LED connections. So we'll set that to the side, get all these parts out and get things going. Really important of this issue is this pack of R2-D2 lenses. So make sure you do not lose those. We're gonna stick those back there in the back corner. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this cockpit built up. Cockpit sides fit right into the nice brackets that we installed earlier and finish off with one screw. That's it for the cockpit for now. We'll throw it aside and we'll see it again in another few months. Makes his head turn. Oh, so his head turns too? I must have forgot about that in the actual video that I saw. Putting together R2-D2 is a little finicky. So do have to hold maybe some of his parts in place 
We can maybe even use some tape to tape some of this stuff together. But what we need to do is we need to get both of his legs and this center spindle all positioned in place very carefully. So after a lot of fiddling around, we finally got them together. You really got to force them together down there at the bottom. The pegs are really tight. You could always snip the pegs and glue if needed. So now we have these six R2 lenses, and these are pretty tough to put in. So we might need to use some tweezers. We're gonna grab his dome, and I'm gonna get some tweezers, put these things in. Putting the lenses inside of R2D2 was a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Luckily, I have some old strands of fiber optic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little piece I'm going to hold one end of the fiber optic with my tweezers and then we're going to take a lighter and what we're going to do is we're going to bloom the end of it so it'll stay in place and you don't want it in the flame you just want it to kind of do something like that right there i lost you i hear you but i don't see you yeah canopy glue this stuff right here and what we're just going to do is put a little bit on a toothpick and just dab it on the back there just like that inside there. And since I can't find a toothpick, this metal rod's gonna have to do. I'm gonna take some of my Tamiya clear red paint. And we are gonna carefully dab it on the front of the lens. And there we go, a red lens. Now that we've got that all done, we are going to go ahead and just line R2-D2's head and get him put on properly. That seems pretty good to me. We're gonna get our battery pack out and we're gonna need a couple batteries to test this with. Two batteries inside there. And we should plug him in here and get lights. We should get lights. So as you can see around the joints, there is some light leakage coming from R2-D2. So we will have to take him apart and we'll have to light block him somehow. So definitely keep that in mind if you wanna take care of that before you put him all the way together. So guys, that's gonna about wrap it up. I ended up getting the laser cannon done with some modifications we'll go over later in a few videos. Ended up using some of my own fiber optic wire. The wire that comes with it's just a little bit too flimsy and not uh, very cooperative. And this will allow me to go ahead and paint this and everything and weather it up. Then I can just snip it off at the end and everything will be beautiful. But other than that, a few little setbacks here and there and some things not kind of going the way with R2. He needs a lot of work, a lot of light blocking and stuff like that. But got that taken care of. And we'll revisit him later down the road when we clean him up, get rid of his seams, paint it and everything like that. Because I do want to make this a completely finished product and not just what is coming from the Agostini. So thanks a lot guys. We will talk to you later.